Hey guys, today I'm going to model a military beret. It was a Patreon request. I'm not used to model organic shapes, but I think the result is not that bad. So that's why I wanted to share my process. You can join my Discord server if you need some help on your projects. We are more than a thousand people. You can also join my Patreon for some exclusive content. So let's add a cube. Press CTRL 3 to add a subdivision surface modifier with three levels. Apply it, raise it a little bit. Remove the lower half. Adjust the scale to match the shape of the head. Select these edges. Press O to enable proportional editing. You can increase or reduce the threshold with the scroll wheel. Move the vertices closer to the head. Right click, shade smooth. Select these edges, press GG to slide them along the normals. Select these polygons. Extrude, press SX0 to flatten the faces. Rotate them and push them downward. Select this edge loop, press GG to slide it, but not too much. Do the same with these two edges. Select these two edges again, right click, set flow. Ctrl R to add an edge loop, right click, set flow. Set flow is a free add-on, the link is in the description. This add-on is useful to find the average position between two edge loops. Do it again until you get a smooth transition. And adjust the shape until you're satisfied of the result. Select these edges, right click, set flow. Select these vertices, push them a little bit. Adjust the curvature of this edge loop too and the shape should be okay. Let's grab these edges at the center and raise them a little bit with proportional editing. Select these edges on the front area, push them forward and raise these faces as well. Move these edges forward again. Connect these two vertices to add a straight edge loop with J or press K and do the same with the knife tool. Delete this edge loop on top. If there is an area that you want to smooth because it's bumpy, right click smooth vertices. You can increase the smoothing if you want a smoother result. Select this edge loop, right click set flow. Let's make the polygons more even on the top area. Select these edges, right click, loop tools, space. Adjust the vertices on the front area to sharpen the shape a little bit. Do it with the subdivision surface modifier on. The front part is too thick, let's reduce it. You can relax the surface tension in the back by sliding the vertices along the edges. I'm going to deform the shape a little bit to give it a more organic look with proportional editing. Select these edges, press GG to slide them along the normals. I'm going to lower this area. If the shape is deformed, adjust the thickness. Add an edge loop with Ctrl R.
remove this one, add one more under and another one on top to turn the triangles into diamond polygons. Press GG to slide them along the normals. Right click, set flow. Adjust the thickness and the curvature. Move this edge loop with the gizmo. Then select this one, right click, set flow. Select these two edges again, right click, set flow. The curvature of this edge loop is not good. Let's fix it with set flow and deform the back a little bit. If you want to get rid of the surface imperfections or the bumpy areas, go to sculpt mode, select the smooth tool and start painting on the mesh. You can increase the radius of the brush and reduce the strength. As you can see, the surface becomes smoother. All the bumpy areas are gone. Go back to edit mode. Move the vertices closer to the head. Select this edge loop, E to extrude, S to scale, extrude downward and adjust the thickness. And make sure that there is no polygon overlapping, especially under this area. Add an edge loop to sharpen this extruded part at the bottom. I hope you enjoyed this video. If yes, please like it, comment and subscribe. It helps my channel to grow. I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Take care.